Hey guys, it's Jen. I'm back with another video and today I'm going to show you how I do my meal planning. So I have been totally off my game since the holidays. I just got thrown off track big time. So trying to get back um, to the normal way of doing things for March. So what I typically do is I will plan out a month's worth of meals and I'll do one major shopping trip. And then I'll go back through the month, um, probably every week and a half or so, to get some... Um, milk or fruit or whatever we're running out of. So I'm going to show you what I do. Okay, when I first sit down to meal plan, these are the things I bring with me. I bring my planner so I can see what things we have going on during the month, if we're going to be out of town, um, if there's any holidays, birthdays, things that I need to remind myself of. So I have my calendar out. I have my inventory twice a month, or twice a month. Twice a year, I take inventory of my pantry and my freezers so I know what I have, so um, I don't waste things and things like that. So I just did inventory in January, so I have my list. And then last night, I went to the grocery store and got some of the meats that they had on sale before the sale ended today. So yesterday was the last day of the sale, so I took advantage of that and got a few things. And then I have a list of meals that I keep in my home binder, my household binder, list of meals that my family likes. And as I try new things and see that my family likes them, I'll add them to my list. So this is like my running list of go-to meals. And then I have my iPad so I can um, reference my boards if I want to try a new recipe or um, if I need to check the ingredients of a recipe or something like that. And then I just got this. I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. But I just got this dashboard for my Erin Congen planner, my life planner. And so I'm going to give it a try for um, the next month and see what I think of it. So all I do when I meal plan is I take a piece. I'm real fancy about it, guys. I take a piece of notebook paper. I number it for how many meals I think I'm going to need. And that's it. So I'm going to show you an old one. Okay, so this is from July. This was my July mini plan. And I just wrote out, I planned six, for 16 days. And as I make stuff, I cross them out. I didn't do a whole lot of crossing out on this one. Um, and then whatever I don't use gets moved to the next menu plan. This number one, the Israeli couscous, um, and pork chops has been on my menu plan since well before July. I just, I want to make it, but I just haven't made it. So I don't even know if I'll add it to this one. But And this was another one that I had. This was for April. See, <laughs> see the Israeli couscous. It's always number one. Poor thing. Needs to, I need to make it. So anyway, I put little check marks or mark out when I make it. And I like to save these so I can go back and reference you know, what we've been eating. I don't like to eat the same things all the time. Um, there's very few meals that I make repeatedly, which is, is good because we get lots of variety, but it's bad because I don't have a whole lot of, a whole repertoire of recipes that we, that we reuse. Um, but anyway, so, so I looked at the calendar before I turned the camera on, and I'm going to plan for 14, no, 19 meals. It's coming up that we won't be eating at home. So I'm going to go ahead and start planning for 19 days. And I also put breakfast items and lunch items. I also plan for those. I, and also, while I'm writing my meal plan, I'll also write my grocery list at the same time. So I'm going to put you guys on the tripod and I'll let you see my system. Like I said, it's nothing fancy, um, but it's just what I do. Okay, so I, I just numbered my paper. 1 through 19, because I'm planning for 19 meals. And really, I mean, I just think about what sounds good. And then I go with the meat I have in my freezer. Oh, I also have my recipe, one of my recipe binders. So these are typically recipes that I go to a lot. Okay, so 
saw about 13 meals into it. Um, writing my grocery list as I'm going. I think I'm going to hit a Pinterest board because I'm kind of running out of ideas here. So let's see. And also like there's um, St. Patrick's Day is when is it? The 17th or something? Yeah, the 17th. So I want to plan to do something um, fun with my girls with that. So maybe like, you know, green eggs and ham or something like that. Something fun. Okay, so I'm going to look at my, at my boards. Oh, I've wanted to try this. It's um, General Tao's chicken, or to sal, I'm not sure how you say it, with chickpeas. If you guys haven't used chickpeas, I made um, Reed Drummond's chickpea curry, and oh my goodness, it is really, really good. Chickpeas are really good, or garbanzo beans. Um, whoops. Okay, I think I'm going to give this recipe a try. I have most of most everything I need to make it, which is always nice. I just needed all I needed to make this recipe was the chickpeas, a red bell pepper and some broccoli. Everything else I had. Oh, and some mirin. Um, I don't even know if I can find mirin at our store. Um, and if I can't find it, I don't know if there's a replacement. I guess you can use dry sherry, but I'm not going to buy sherry for this recipe. Okay, so when I do a Pinterest recipe, I will write pin and which board it's on because I have spent so, many, so much time hunting down a recipe because I couldn't remember where I got it from. So if, okay, let me see what proteins I have. Okay, so I have a bag of spaghetti sauce in my freezer that's already cooked. Oh, you know what my family really likes is the frozen meatballs, which I don't know. I guess they're okay. The frozen meatballs are okay. I really don't like to buy stuff already made, but they went nuts over them. And all I do is I put the meatballs in a in a crock pot with some barbecue sauce, and it was so good. Okay, so that gets rid of my sauce. I still have two packages of chicken thighs. Oh, I have some pork roast. You know what? Okay, I'm going to show you guys my cookbook collection. So I haven't shared this with you guys, but... Um, when Sam and I, ooh, very close, camera's very close. So when Sam and I first got married, I could not cook. I can make green chili chicken enchiladas. I can make um, breaded pork chops. And I could make hamburger helper really well. Like, I had hamburger helper down. Um, and then I found Food Network. So I became a huge um, Food Network fan. All these notebooks right here. Well, I don't know if you can see it. There we go. All these notebooks are handwritten recipes that I would sit and write um, the recipes. This is probably back before they had a website. I don't know. Anyway, so I am a cookbook collector. I have tons of cookbooks. And um, I rarely use them. So it's kind of sad that I don't use these cookbooks more. But it's just so easy to get online and just um, type in what you want and search for them. And I cannot find the cookbook that I'm that I'm looking for. I can't remember if it wasn't like a Mexican made easy cookbook or if it was okay, well I couldn't find the cookbook that I'm looking for. Um or I can't remember which cookbook it's in. But it was a really good recipe for for Mexican style pork. Um with potatoes. It was so so good. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to hunt for it. Okay, but I I did, I forgot I had this cookbook, Top Secret Recipes, and I've been wanting to make um, the Toscano soup from um, Olive Garden. Made it before, and it's really good. 
So I'm going to look for that recipe and I'm going to add that to my, my list if it's in here. Hopefully it is. Yep. It's earmarked. Okay, so I'm all done with my um, 19 meals. We're going to do lentil burritos. Chicken ranch with potatoes and green beans. That's where you put it all in a baking dish and you sprinkle it with um, ranch dressing mix and butter. It's really good. Um, honey sriracha chicken with rice and broccoli. Fried chicken and cheese. Or fried chicken with cheese grits. I got that recipe from the Rachel Ray magazine. Um, it was the last one that went out and it is so good. You fry the chicken and you top it with Frank's Red Hot and honey. Oh my gosh, the combination of the hot and the sweet is so good. Um, I'm going to do Salisbury steak with mashed potatoes, corn and green beans, um, green chili, chicken enchiladas with rice and beans, pozole with, we'll have it with tortillas, um, shepherd's pie, um, hash brown potato soup, um, broccoli with shells and cheese, whiting, I'm going to bake it, whiting fillets, everything lo mein, this is a Rachel Ray recipe, um, that's, it's really good. And I'm going to do pork ribs with rice pilaf and vegetables. We have, we raised a pig, and um, so we've still got a bunch of pork in the freezer. Um, General Tassau's chickpea, this is with chickpeas. And then the barbecue meatballs with rice and a vegetable. Meatball subs, which we probably won't have. Maybe I'll do some fries or something. Um, Toscano soup, red enchiladas, red chili enchiladas. And I'm going to do a pizza night. I just got a new pizza stone from Pampered Chef, so I want to wanna use it. So here's my grocery list. I honestly didn't eat a whole lot. Um, some veggies, um, cheese, some mushroom soup. Um, so I'll do a grocery haul when I, when I get back to this. So what I do is, like, there's some, there's several meals that have a lot of produce in them. Like the... Um, Everything lo mein. That's going to have bell peppers and mushrooms and cabbage, stuff like that in it. So that'll be one of the first meals that I make. Um, there's the broccoli with shells and cheese. That's going to have um, fresh broccoli, not frozen. So I'll make that um, for, further, like one of my first meals. So that's what I'll look for. And then um, things that, you know, like the meatball... The barbecue meatballs, that can be one of the last things I make because um, everything will keep for it. So this is how I do it. And then I flip the page over and I just write some ideas for, for breakfast. So I'm going to do some smoothies. Um, we have a whole box of instant oatmeal. We'll do buttermilk pancakes, which were so good. Um, eggs, our chickens are laying eggs again. So we're, we have lots of eggs and tree sun eggs. And then for lunch... Um, we'll do leftovers, tuna salad. I'm going to make some bean and cheese burritos and freeze them. Um, I'll show you how I do those when I do them. And then um, I also do some hot pocket type stuff. So maybe I'll do some of those. So I'm done with my meal plan. And then so what I'll do is I will just think of anything else that we need. I'll go scope out my pantry. And um, let's see, on my list I have the only thing I'm not sure about whether I have or not is the hoisin. I know I had some in my fridge, but I'm not sure if um, I still have it. So I need to check on that. Um, everything else, um, I pretty much knew whether we had it or not. So I'm gonna go, I need to plan for some snacks. Um, I usually do that too. So I'm just, um, So anyway, so that's how I do my meal plan. Um, on a, any given month, the number of meals that I have changes. So like I said, I only did 19 meals. <clears throat> and that's, we'll have some leftover nights, of course, with, with this. Um, and then if I find that I need to, if our plans change and I need to add meals, I'll just go, I'll get what I need when I do a fill-in shop. Okay, so I am done, and um, I will see you guys for in my next video. Bye, guys.